Hey doll baddies, so today video we're gonna be working with a four hair and this is our lashes. And when I tell y'all these the best lashes I ever done got with some hair, the best lashes, like they real quality mink real hair lashes and they also gave two clips in the wig cap. So I have a 13 by 4 200 percent density 20 inch 1B slash 27 body wave wig. It has an adjustable scrap, four combs, um another adjustable strap like the bra one and it also kind of has a pre puck hairline not really but it already came color so you don't have to do any coloring and yeah so the first step we're going to do is go ahead and bleach our knots i was in the process of bleaching multiple wigs and doing stuff so that's why the background looks like that because the baby was working on Okay, so you just want to go ahead and make your little thick pancake mix. I would say a little thicker than pancake, honestly, because it shouldn't be watery because you don't want it seeping through. You just want to go ahead, put it on your knots, let that sit for probably 15 to 25 minutes, depending on how quick it turns, what developer you're using, and so forth. So you just go ahead and wash that out with the iso plus um shampoo and then let that go ahead and air dry so first i added chi and then now i went ahead and added this spray that i do not recommend this spray is from sally's i just used it because i was running out of chi i no longer had any so i was like i didn't put a heat protectant on such a stupid move you guys will see later on in this video i should have never had did that because the hair was real stiff but i'm gonna just go ahead and take my little flat iron do my little silk press heat on probably 4 something 4 15 4 30 the hotter the better for a nice silk press so you just want to scrape in the hair and then now i'm gonna do some more plucking because without any plucking this is gonna be a little bit too hairy so i'm gonna go ahead and section out the little first thin row and then pluck you know do some plucking because you gotta pluck this but I ain't really do, do too, too much. And I definitely don't think you guys need to overplug. Don't overplug because then you're just going to be looking like a whole bunch of lace. Then you want to go ahead and just take your eyebrow razor to remove the lace, the excess lace. And this is a really good way to help your laces to blend more because it ain't, ain't no straight line with how scissors will be so harsh. So I'm just showing y'all, as y'all can see, that this one section of the hair was not getting bone straight. Yes, the hair is body wave, but it just was not getting bone straight. So, yeah. But also because the hair did become stiff because that little product I didn't use that Sally's, baby, that messed up my hair. Like, I was wanted to would have washed the re-wig, but I ain't was pressed for time, baby. I couldn't rewash the wig to get out of the little cake up. So, I already did my body hair care method on off camera. I did add my one layer of ghost bond, and I did also add my Isha, um um skin guard first that was the first step i did and as y'all can see i'm filling up my eyebrows because um i was in the process of getting ready and y'all gonna see that vlog real soon but yeah so i had washed my face and just kept the lashes on so i had to redo my face to with the lashes and all that and the brows like come on now so with this wig i do feel like it's a little too big um and i do think it is big for some reason i don't know if it's the material the lace or what but this wig does have ripples i actually did reinstall this wig again and i still have ripples on the right side no matter how tight i pull and i usually don't have that like you know some people have ripples because of the way their head shape but for me all my you know units usually be flat so um I don't know what it, the problem was with that, but definitely my um wig had ripples. So I didn't like that part. But other than that, I love the wig. It was really easy to install. The color job was perfect. It's really nice. I got so much compliments in this wig and a ponytail is so natural. Like everybody was living. So I really like this wig. I love the way they did the color. It ain't harsh. It blends nicely. And it just looked real good. And I just go ahead and added some baby hairs. And that basically sums up this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, you already know the deal. Go ahead and put that down below. Real quick and easy. Make sure y'all shop with Afford Hair. All the links will be down below. And I will check y'all out in the next one. Hey, 
y'all baddies. So I just wanted to come here really quickly and just give y'all my thoughts on this hair. So I'm not going to do the whole dedicated front of review, like the 1 to 10 and go through it from the beginning. But I just want y'all to down like my first quick notes that I do have that I just wanted to share with y'all and my thoughts and all that. But everything will be in the description box of, you know, the rest of the um list of the review. I don't even know what I be calling it. The, the rating scale, whatever. So first is the cost. $203.90 and y'all this is the afford hair 1b 27 13 by 4 lace front 20 inch body weight wig and for the cost basically $200 yes sir so um i feel like it's worth the cost definitely because of the density is 200 the color how it came you had to do a little bit of pre-plucking but it does turn straight it does body wave so it does nice with crimps curls and all of that and for the length 20 inch the density i feel like 200 dollars is a really good price and you just can't go wrong so i definitely would give it cost packaging yes y'all already know in the beginning of the video i was raving over the packaging because the lashes y'all know how like when the chinese people send y'all lashes it was some synthetic lashes but that it was human hair real mean lashes then on top of that it was in a blue glittery sparkly box which i loved and um the hair came in nice it came with this wig cap it came with two clips i had no complaints with the packaging i really liked it that softness the hair is soft shedding yes it does shed um i do definitely get tangles so when i do get tangles i'm not sure if i'm getting tangles because of me not tying my hair down at night and i'm not even lie to like it just be some days i just don't be tying my hair down like I just think I'm just too must be advanced and I just don't be here no more and I'm like I could fix it in the morning but I usually tie down my frontal that's the main part the hair in the back it kind of just does whatever depending on if it's straight or not sometimes I just throw it in a body but my frontals be always tied I don't even play them kind of games but I do get to um snag so when I am detangling the hair especially in the frontal area in this section hair do tend to come out so this hair does shed it's not like bad excessive shedding but the hair definitely is soft. Yeah, I'm getting a few breakages, probably one or two. I'm not trying to run my fingers through it too much because I don't want to lose the crimps. But the um, shedding is there. It is not overly shedding. Y'all know like when you like walking and how hair sometimes just falling off you when you ain't even doing nothing. It ain't that kind of shedding, but it ain't not shedding at all. But so it's, I give shedding like a, I give it a five in the middle because the hair, the amount of hair that does come out when it tangle, it just be like uh nasty, too much hair. But the snags do come. Um, thickness, yes, two hundred percent density. The hair definitely is thick, and even when straightened, as y'all seen in the previous clip when I first installed this hair, definitely, definitely, definitely thick. So this is two hundred percent density. Let me show y'all. Um, the back, I don't know what it looks like quite honestly because I didn't look at it before I came on camera so hopefully it's not bad the, the crits probably just loose but I just have a nice half up half down style that I'm currently rocking but the, what I would say um the wig is like I mentioned before definitely is too big and I am going to install a picture of this unit in a ponytail because I received so much compliments like this hair in a ponytail is lit because y'all know when, when I do ponytails with my units, I don't do any glue in the back. If you didn't know, I just take the comb and I do have an under braid at the end. And then let me give y'all a little example. I just take the comb, put it underneath the braid. Then your elastic will most likely be um, adjusted in its placement. And then you just take four or five bobby pins and then you just push the hair down as such. And then that's how you get your glueless ponytail lace front wig without having to glue the back because you know sometimes you just i just don't want to glue the back down and i'll be all nasty and sticky so i'll remove the hassle without doing extra glue and i just bobby pin it and it works perfectly so y'all seen what that looked like in a ponytail super cute but the wig is big and i do have ripples no matter kind of what i do i have ripples on the right hand side no matter how tight I stretch it. So I just think because the wig cap probably is just too big for my head, I'm getting ripples. Or it just could be the lace material. I'm really not sure, but that's one thing I don't like. But the lace melts pretty good. Um, 
yeah i really don't have nothing negative to say about the wig i actually like it a lot i definitely like how they did the coloring it's not um it's not harsh at all like it blends really nicely from the black group to the 27 and it's bleached nicely too um i do have like some black strands but hey like i mean you can't notice it it looks like a whole 27 but once you look deep in it you will see there's black strands in the hair but that's no biggie but yeah i love how they colored it with the roots it just blends nicely and i really like this wig i definitely would give this wig um a b plus and i give it a b plus only because of the ripples and the lace that kind of just turned me off and at first when i strained it even though i think it was me it had it wasn't completely straight even though this is body weight but i feel like it was straight but it had a little dinks in the straightness but other than that, it's a B plus. I do recommend y'all definitely use my code Elevati at checkout when you guys shop with them. And just let me know if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns. Um, if you guys enjoy, make sure you put that down below, and I'll check you guys out in the next one. Bye, y'all, baddies.